Uh, <clears throat> the Warming Surfaces Company, established last year, November. Uh, however, behind, we actually come from VTT, Technical Research Center of Finland, with over 20 years of research in the field of printed intelligence. Uh, in my talk, I'll briefly talk about our background, how we came about to deal with large area heaters, um, a little bit about our, our proprietary process of producing them, and then also why are we digitalizing warms. The background of our developments, as I said, VTT has over 20 years of research in, in printed intelligence and uh, world-class facilities using equipment also from companies like Kotema. Um, in doing very exploratory work, and it's a wonderful environment to be doing research when you actually get to go immediately into industrial scale machines. 2018, the Finnish Defense Forces put out a call asking for solutions for more advanced decoy systems. What are decoy systems? They're systems designed to fool the attacker to waste their ammunition on false targets. And obviously in com uh, today's warfare, missiles come equipped with sensor systems that are very advanced, as do drones and satellites. Terho Kololuoma, my co-founder, who was VTT's very first employee and researcher in the area of printed intelligence, took on this challenge. And he led a team that developed these advanced decoy systems. And the specs, by the way, very, very demanding. But the beauty of printed and flexible electronics is it was able to address many of these demands. One of those demands was to have an IR display, essentially, large area pixelated heaters that fool the IR sensors in the missiles. Mind you, one individual missile costs above 1 million euros. So it's definitely worthwhile also economically, not just for the sake of uh, the people, but also for economic reasons to distract these into false targets. So, the team at VTT, 2018, started developing a solution to meet the Finnish military's requirements. And as of last October, this has been a ready product that is now shipping. Sadly, we live in times where these devices are much needed. Here's a couple of examples of the type of systems that have been delivered. Uh, Ground-based ba ground to air defense system, and then also a, a CV-90 tank. This is what they look in the eyes of, of drones or in the eyes of thermal cameras. This is essentially, this tank here is essentially a pile of cardboard boxes. But it looks in many ways, it, to many sensors, like a real target. So, how did VTT solve this need to have these multispectral large area uh, heaters and, 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 and films was through printed intelligence, flexible electronics, and in this case, actually not using very much printing at all, but rather converting steps. This patented transfer foil method uses different cutting steps, lamination steps, and obviously you need adhesives in the process. The advantage of this process is that it's able to produce in high volume, large area, these types of heaters that did not have to be high precision, but rather they had to be very robust. We had the need to transfer bulk metal onto large area surfaces. But of course, as a process, this is not an additive, but a subtractive process but it doesn't use any etching chemicals. It's actually chemical free, other than the adhesives that are used in the system. A further advantage of this process compared to printing is that, well, you can get the bulk grade metal, but also the energy consumption. I don't know if you can see here, but the energy consumption of this process compared to 